All right, so for problem 2.9-5, a bar with the rectangular cross-section is subjected to an axial tensile of P, as shown in figure. Determine the angle, call it uh, theta NA, theta NA, of the plane and, and dash on which, or in apostrophe, on which tau's NT equals to, I don't know, that is the plane in on which the magnitude of the shear stress is twice the magnitude of the normal stress, and on P is the reverse of A. Okay, so this question, um, it's not that hard. It's basically just testing us whether we understand these two equations, right? And I think this is these two is already given in the book. Um, so I think during the exams, you know, I think your professor would just give these two equations to you, uh, and then just plug those numbers in and then you know exactly what you're looking for, right? Um, but obviously um, that wouldn't be, you know, educational uh, of a video. So let me, you know, show it to you how we got those two equations, right? Um, so first of all is the A. Now, if we treat this as A, right? Sorry, th this is the perpendicular, like this part as A, Right, in the 2D, well, this will be the A, this will be the theta, and this will be the inclined plane uh, over here, right? That's colored in green. Okay, so now, uh, since A is this, and we're looking for the inclined plane, inclined plane obviously is the hypoten hypoth hypotenuse, this is the adjacent, this is the opposite. So we obviously, this is the simple uh, right triangle trigonometry, cosine of theta equals adjacent over let's just call it A and N, right, which is the area over here. Okay, fantastic. Now, uh, let's look at uh, P, right, PN, which is the apply load over here. Since P is going this way, right, we're looking, you know, from from cut here and, and onwards, right, cut here and onwards. Okay, so um, PN, obviously, this is P, Right, and we treat this as Pn. Now, how do we find this angle? Because this Pn is perpendicular to this plane, and this is a right angle, we don't know what this angle is, we call it gamma, but because theta, right, times, um, sorry, or, or the angle over here, um, we don't know what this area is, uh, this theta is, uh, gamma is, but uh, here's a right angle triangle um, at this angle, right? So this would be here over here. We can just shift it. We don't know what this angle is, but we know that a right triangle, a right angle plus this give us theta. So 90 degrees plus theta give us uh, plus gamma give us theta. This is a gamma. We have a right angle, so this must be theta, right? Oh, and also remember that in this case, p will be the biggest, it doesn't matter, right? Because Pn, and also we'll calculate the Vn, right, which is the shear force. These force add together gives you P. So P must be the biggest. Well, in this case, in, on, on triangle, the longest length is the hypotenuse. We have to treat P as hypotenuse, and which is the right angle over here. Now, since P is the hypotenuse, um, so it would be Pn over P gives you the cosine of theta, right? Um, so now we have Pn, now we have the area, uh, you know, stress equals P over the area, or Pn over An, right? So Pn is P times cosine of theta, right, from this equation over here. And then An is um, A divided by cosine of theta, right? A, P divided by divided by, which is just times the last one, times the third one, right? So, which will be P over A, but cosine squared. And P over A, which is just the axis tensile uh, normal stress, right? In the X direction, which is P over this area over here, right? Okay, so now, now we understand how uh, this equation comes from, and now let's look at this. So it's v, a Vn, um, it's, let's see, um, all right, 
So VN, because it's basically the same thing, area is always the same, right? The area cosine is we already proven over here. Uh, it's negative because this is going downwards, right? So we treat it as negative, right? PN is going right and positive plus and this vn is going negative now vn is basically over here right now remember uh two vectors add two vectors together it gives you the ve uh, one vector over here now this is p this is p p pn and this is vn right these two makes up p right so these two add up has to give us gives you p in the vector wise in the vector world so which means now this should be vn right if you shift it directly over here now this is sine right it's the opposite vn in this case is the opposite the shear uh, shear load is the opposite which is sine data equals vn uh, over p right p still has to be the hypotenuse so p sine theta gives you vn and then so vn over an right, which is P sine theta, remember is negative, right, over AN, what's AN, it's, um, sorry, yeah, AN is A over cosine of theta, you know, A divided by divided by, which is just times the third uh, number, which is negative P over A sine theta uh, times cosine theta, right, and this is the Excel normal stress and this is how this equation uh, comes from okay so now we said a lot of stuff now we understand where this two equation comes from you should be able to solve this problem uh, without any trouble because now you would just plug it in right so what is NT well negative this sine of theta cosine of theta equals two times you know two times this cosine of theta okay this cancels out both sides this cancels out both sides so now uh, we have what negative sine square over cosine square i mean what am i talking about negative sine theta over cosine theta equals two what is this this is 10 right negative or you can say negative two plus 10 so you can say negative one over uh, you use the inverse function and then to get you theta and this will be theta na, right? Uh, same thing over here, but you know, it's just uh, the other way around. So it'll be the axial tensor load cosine of two theta, right? It's it's this thing, and now two times tau nt, which is two times this times sine theta cosine theta um, divided by cosine both sides divided by this both sides. Now you have negative two cosine of theta over sine of theta and you might say well my can my uh, calculator doesn't have an inverse of cotan well what is cotan cotan is literally just 1 over 10 right so you can just inverse both sides so now it's negative 1 over 2 sine of theta over cosine of theta I really hope you understand this step right because if you're not I'm a little worried at this part of the uh, course so you do this and now it's just 10 now you do the inverse 10 equals negative 1 over 2 uh, gives you theta na in the end you should get theta and oh, sorry nb theta na should be somewhere around 63 degrees and theta nb should gives you somewhere around 27 degrees in the end you can see oh they add to 90 degrees a right angle right and that is because sines and cosines okay I mean sorry the cotan and tan and yeah obviously when those two numbers uh, add together which is you know one angle is over here one angle over here gives you that right angle okay all right well uh, thank you so much uh, hopefully I was able to help you understand these two equations hopefully this was helpful uh, so good luck on your studies and I'll see you in my future videos Bye.